Hi class, here are some steps to creating a digital portfolio using Google Slides. All right, we're going to start by setting up the title page. So uh, I'm going to scroll over here to the uh, Rubik's Cube or the Google Apps or the menu button. I'm going to come down and I'm going to select Slides. If Slides isn't here, try Drive and Slides will be under Drive. Okay, so uh, there are some templates, and uh, there's a number of templates in the template gallery, plus anything that other people have posted you might be able to use. But what I'd like you to do to start this is to start with a blank presentation. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose um, up here at the top of the page where it says Untitled Presentation, and we're going to name it uh, your first name, your last name, and then portfolio. And then, for example, Dr. Priest portfolio. All right. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Add Title box, and we're going to name this, again, the same thing, um, your name and portfolio. Okay, now under that, what we're going to do is click to add subtitle. When you click to add a subtitle, what I'd like you to do is name it Avon Park High School Art Studio. Now, if you're in Studio 1, you could put a 1. If you're in Studio 2, put a 2. Um, if you're in honors, put honors. If you're in AP, uh, put AP, you know, 2D or AP 3D, whichever you're in. But as long as it says Avon Park High School Art Studio, we're good to go. Okay, so there's the start of your title page. Now, next thing we want to do is we want to customize this. So I'm going to give you some options here. To customize this, I want you to select background. And we could um, choose a few things here. We're going to start with color. We're going to go to gradient. And then you're going to choose a gradient color that you want to use for the background. Um, so I'll just use something, something in here. So it gives it a little bit of character. And then click Done. OK? Now, if that isn't something you like, you can do Option B. Option B is the same idea go to color, let's go back to solid colors, and then maybe you could choose a uh, solid color that you might enjoy. And click done, all right. Okay, so now I wanna do something a little bit different. Let's do for this cover page, uh, click on background, and this time let's choose an image. Now what I'm gonna do is, I don't have any photos saved here in Google, um, so, but I want to upload a personal image, not something that I found on the internet, but something that I created. And this could be a photograph. This could be an image. And I'll give you some options here. Um, so in this, for example, let me view it as large, view extra large icons. Yeah, a lot of times your images, let's just go back to the beginning here. Sometimes your images will come up like this as details. If you want to see the image itself, right mouse click, view, and then do icons. I usually go extra large so I can really see things. Now, if I wanted to put a photograph in, I certainly could select a photograph. I could select uh, an image that I've worked on. Um, I have some student work in here as well. But let me choose an image that um, I like. We'll upload. Okay, and then we just click done. All right, and there you go uh, with the um, inserting an image into your background. Um, if you need to, for example, your image is too dark, you could always select your text and um, you know choose a different color um, for your text choose the text color button, and then you could choose something completely different for the text so maybe it's easier to read or 
In this case, that was not necessarily the case. Okay, all right, so those are just a couple of options there. Okay, so now I will give you a fourth option, option D. Instead of selecting a background, select theme, and then scroll through the available themes and uh, maybe choose a theme that would look good with this presentation. I'll give you that option as we're getting started here. It's kind of a neat theme, okay? All right, so those are your basic steps to setting up the title page. What I'd like you to do is aside from viewing this video, make sure you access the uh, newly posted create a digital portfolio template that's in the Google Classroom. Read through that as well. Um, I would like you to play with this a bit. Um, I do have one more idea for your background. So for your background, even if Let's say you select a theme for the background. Choose different themes, see what you like. Um, okay, so choose a different theme, see what you like. And then um, for the background, let's say it's a solid background theme, what you could do is just go to this image button, the insert image, or up here to insert, and then select image upload from computer, or if you have them on the drive already, get them from the drive. And then um, let's select a few images. And I'm gonna put like three images in here. I'm gonna move this around a little bit. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna insert an image. Uh, let's keep this let's keep this Japanese themed. So I want to uh, get this image at the same height. There we go. So if you follow your um, your guides, uh, it'll usually get you into the same height range. And then I want one more. Same thing. I'm going to come down till I see the guide. Okay, well, didn't quite do it. So lift it up to where that guide is. Then let's get it the same size. Okay, and then I want these, let me spread these out a little differently here. I'm gonna crop this one. So you can click on an image, click the crop image tool. And I'm just going to crop some of the side off of this one. Okay, and then I'm going to hold down my control key, select all three images, grab them, slide them. There we go, they're centered there. Okay, so play with it a little bit. You want your portfolio to be unique, um, you want it to represent your personal style. Okay, so have fun playing with this. I expect some really good quality work on this. Um, don't make it too simplistic. You want to show that you have some depth to your um, personal style with your art. All right, so have fun with the project, and we will see you back in class.